First things first, open the boxes and make sure you have everything you need. Here we have two Vortex crossbars, our Allen key, and two sets of SX legs. Then remove the end caps from your crossbars, shake them up and down to remove the measurement strips, the Vortex rubber strips, and the key. Insert the Vortex rubber strips in the C channel on the top of the crossbars and cut the extra bit off if required. We discovered we like this back and forth motion to get them in just right. Then insert the legs into the crossbar by squeezing the tabs as very clearly shown. I did it you got so, it? So, no, I don't got it. Don't film me, okay? <laughs> yeah. Are you slide? And if you're like us and you loosen the bolt too much, don't worry, you didn't break it. I fixed it. No problem. Are you okay? So sharp. <laughs> <so> sharp. <laughs> I got it. Then you can get your crossbars and sit them on your vehicle's factory rails so that the leg assembly clamps over the rail. And then measure and make sure they are an equal distance apart. Oh, oh. Isn't that okay? Before you tighten anything, make sure your gasket is flared out and not tucked under. Once you have your bars on your vehicle's rails, make sure that the crossbars have an equal overhang on both sides. Be sure to watch out for those raw edges. Double check the spacing between your crossbars to make sure that they're not sitting crooked on your roof and then you can go ahead and tighten each leg with the Allen key provided. Once your crossbars are tightened, you can go ahead and put your end caps on and lock them in place with the little key provided. And voila, you have a slick new roof rack and you and your vehicle are ready for some adventures on wheels.